Hello, Ahmed. Hi. How are you today? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Do you have some two minutes? I have a question with the J unit uh, assignment on test case two. Sure. Yeah, um, I did everything correctly, but when I tried to run, I can see um, that uh, when I use a J unit, I, I faced an error, and when I tried to to figure out the error, I found that it should have been given me an error. Okay. On the test reverse word method. Okay. Hello, Hamid. Hello, hi. Hi. Uh, your J unit test case. Yes. I want to see that what is giving the trouble for you. Yeah. Let me check. Uh, can I make you presenter? All right. Uh, is that do sir Emma? Uh, Emma. Talking to Emma. Okay. Yes, I am making you presenter, okay? Right. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is the issue. Execute test reverse word. Yeah, here. Okay. Failure is. Uh, can you please give a small word over there? 
instead of a, a long lengthy word Save it, uh, run it. Get into that uh, reserve uh, reverse word logic reserve reverse word. Can you please uh, print that? Uh, uh, I want the return type of that. A string? Uh, yes, I want that uh, result to be printed. Yeah, I was trying to, to do a separate class called the reverse just to check if it gives the right. Um, okay. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, but yeah, it did, it worked well. So if I try to run this, uh -huh. it gives the exact words. Oh, it's working with you. Yeah, it is working here, but I don't know what happened with you. Same copy pasted, right? In the yeah. Uh, yeah, I did copy paste it. Okay, okay. Just took this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good, good, good. Save it. Okay. Go to your test. Yes. Why it is troubling me? Um, there is a place. Uh, why there is a rectangular pair of brace over there in the failure test, failure trace? Here? Mm, yes. I don't know its meaning. Uh, go to Acha. Uh, you just copy paste these two programs uh, in this uh, go to meeting. I'll check at my end. Okay. That calculation and test case too. Yeah. Control A, Control C.
Are you doing that? Are you sending that? Why did you ask me? I asked you to send me those two programs on this go to meeting chart window. Oh, okay. Sorry. Complete. Complete. Control A, Control C. Do Control A. Emma. Yes. Control A, Control C. Yeah, I've done that. Send me and go to meeting chart window. Where can I find the chat window here? Uh, let me check whether chat is enabled to you or not. Yes, now it is enabled. So where is he? Okay. I already enabled for you. Yes, we can chart. And go to meeting. That's where I am. Not there. Not there. Uh, not there. Not there. Uh, next tab. Next tab. Oh. Not there, not there. Next yeah. tab, yeah. next tab on your browser. Mm -hmm. uh, no, there is a taskbar, there is right. There is go yeah. to meeting icon. Go to that. Here? Yeah. Taskbar. No, no, taskbar, taskbar. Taskbar would be at the bottom on your computer. Taskbar. Okay. After that, Google Chrome, mm, right. That is go to meeting window, we say. Yeah, this is the one I am on. Yes. Can you see chart now? Yeah, I see chart here. Send me the chart. I just gave a message. Hello. All Can right. you see that? Yeah. There you go, okay. Done. Okay. All right, I'll check this and let you know. Okay. Let's continue with that. Uh, uh, hibernate simple application for now. All right. Uh, yesterday, I believe uh, we have gone through this uh, session factory, session, Transaction, connection provider, these things, right? Right.
I am sending you the link uh, where you can download the jar files of uh, Hibernate. Okay. Just copy paste, uh, copy these links and uh, keep it safely with you. All right. Okay. Yes, I. Have all those uh, jar files. I mean to say, I have downloaded Hibernate. Yes, can you see here? Yes. There is a folder here Hibernate distribution 3.6.10 final. Yes. Yeah. So uh, when you download this link, uh, it gives you a zip file. Okay. 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 When you unzip, it gives you this folder. Okay. okay. Yes. And in this, you can see lib folder. Mm -hmm. So here, there are certain folders here you need to use all these jar files okay in the required folder there are jar files right here and lr commons collection dom4j java assist then jta and slf4j api this as well as jpa related this jar file mm. i have need jpa then Bytecode. In bytecode there are two folders, cglib and okay. Java, assist, Java assist some some version number and this jar file. So we need to have this, this jar files, okay? Okay. And in optional there are few things here. So this uh, OS cache uh, deals with uh, that uh, caches that are available in Hibernate. Yeah. Second level cache I told, right? Yes. Yes, this is JWAS cache, it's a different cache. Then Swarm cache, these are the caches. We will use them somewhere in our upcoming sessions when we deal with the second level cache. All right. Okay. So as of now, to execute a basic application using Hibernate APIs, we need these things. Bytecode, these two, these two jar files. Okay. 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 Then required jar files, all these. Then JPA related this, as well as there is Hibernate three jar file here. Okay. All right. Okay. So we need these jar files. So all these jar files I mentioned here. Okay. I copy pasted into one folder. I yeah. mentioned hibernate all jars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we need to use these jar files in writing the uh, simple hibernate program. Okay. Like MySQL connector we configured, we need to configure these jar files into our class path in Eclipse. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If I open this word file, Uh, so here you can see I am creating a Java project, add all the jar files for Hibernate, Java persistent class. Yes. So the intention is to store the Java class as a database table row, right? Right. Right. So here you can see there is a, an employee class which I am making use of this, okay? Yeah. Okay. So employee class has an ID, first name, last name, okay? 
Okay. So I am creating this employee class and let me yes. uh, create a Java project. Okay. We are using Core yes. Java project. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so Hibernate demo one I said, okay? Okay. Then next. Then finish. Mm. So these we have Hibernate demo one. And configure all those jar files now. Okay? All right. Okay. Uh, how to configure right click on the project build path java build path okay yeah okay so we will be using these uh, uh, jar files uh, throughout our project yes i mean uh, throughout our hibernate course right 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 so i can create uh, a library for them yeah, you can see that previously we used to add jars or add external jars, right? Yes. Right, yes. I am creating a library for it, okay? All right. Okay. Click on add library and choose the default user library, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then finish. And here, uh, I already have that library, but still I will show you how to uh, create that uh, library of uh, Hibernate jars. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, go for uh, giving a name user libraries. For you, it will be empty when you uh, try to perform this activity. Okay. For you, mm -hmm. this, this would be empty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, on my machine, there are two libraries, Hibernate and Stats2. When I executed it so long ago, I had those uh, libraries. Okay. All right. Okay. For you, it would be empty, and you click on user libraries. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you click okay. on user libraries, here it would be empty for you. Yes. Then you will be creating a new user library. Okay, new. Yes. Mm -hmm. And give a name here. So I give a name. So Hibernate 3 HP 3. Mm-hmm. Because I already have that Hibernate. So I am giving a new name just to show you, okay? Yeah. Yes. From this, so and then you you don't click on this checkbox then. Okay. 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 Then you can see a library is created as of now. It's empty, okay? Yes. Okay. So this Hibernate library, select that and add external jars, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Add external jars, go to the folder, this one, okay? All right. Yes. And actually, we need to add one by one these things. So, in lib, so bytecode, we need to add to this one, okay? Yeah. Okay. And go to HB3, add external jars, and back, Java assist, this one, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again click on this HB3, add external jars, bytecode we have done, from lib, required, all the mandatory jars, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Select all, select all. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see uh, everything is added one by one. Again click on yeah. HB3, add external jars, back, JPA. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. All right. Then again go back, I mean select that HP3, add external jars from mm -hmm. this uh, Hibernate 3. I asked three. you to add, uh, yeah. add Hibernate 3. Again go back and add external jars. Uh, we need to have a MySQL connector also because we are working with MySQL, right? Right. Right. And uh, that MySQL connector also it's available uh, in the same folder. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
So I am done with adding the jar files. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then press OK. You can see now HB3 which has been added is now checked here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then okay. finish. Then OK. Done. So here yeah. you can see a library is added now. All these jar files. Okay. 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 Fine. Now uh, I need to create the model class. So I am creating the yes. model class. In my source, I am creating a package. Yes. So I say Java Hibernate the most package name. And the class name is employee. Employee. Okay. I don't need a main method. It's a model class, right? Yeah. Right. I have here employee. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I am giving some properties here. Yeah. Private int id. Mm -hmm. Private string. Name. name. Last name. Okay. Okay. And I need it. Uh, setters and getters for this because it's a model class, right? Right. So all public setters and getters because they are mm -hmm. private methods, private uh, properties, right? But it does. Mm -hmm. Yes, done. So my employee model class, so I say model class is done. This is nothing but a bean we say sometimes, the same we call it as vivo we say sometimes, and vivo we vivo. say. Right. Now, uh, let me go back to, yes. The thing is, yesterday we discussed saving an object uh, to database with uh, without Hibernate and with Hibernate. Two two things, right? Yeah. So uh, the model class. So the model class we are done with, right? This one. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So for us, it is an employee class, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, then. Uh, the first step actually we should have performed. Let me do that first step now. Okay, this one. JDBC okay. configuration okay. that is URL, username, password, Hibernate. Uh, Hiber we all do this in a file known as Hibernate configuration file. Okay. Okay. Yes. I am creating that Hibernate configuration file now. Observe there. I am creating it in source. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right click on source. Go for new. It's a file, a normal file. Mm -hmm. Right. Give the name Hibernate CFG.xml file. Hibernate configuration file. Okay? Yeah. Okay. This is the default name for the configuration okay. file. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can change it. Let's go by defaults as of now. Mm -hmm. If you are changing the name of the configuration file, then you have to tell the same to Hibernate then. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let me use the standard file name for this Hibernate.cfg configuration.xml. Okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Finish. Yes. And it's in source, right? Now. I need to configure that uh, 
uh, URL, username, password, driver, those things, right? Yes. So to perform that, to perform that, you can see my sample. So hmm. yes, this is the Hibernate CFG XML file. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are few things here. There are few things here. Uh, these, there is a documentation comment here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an yeah. file, XML related documentation we need. So yeah. what I'll do is, I need that XML documentation. So uh, I'll go back to those uh, jar files. In your uh, downloaded distribution, so here you can see project, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So in this project, all these are samples that are already done by Hibernate organization. Okay. Okay. Oh. The owner of the Hibernate has done some samples, those projects. Yeah. Here, okay. I'll try to search for one sample Hibernate configuration file. Okay. 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 As you can see, I got few uh, Hibernate configuration files that were already used in these projects, okay? Yes. And let me open this. So I'm opening this in Notepad. Right. Right. So this one I got, okay? Okay. okay. Copy this, Control A, Control C. And paste into your right. Okay, I just copied. It. Okay. Okay. Now you see okay. there is some XML documentation and something here. Let it be and a documentation comment here. Doc type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Hibernate configuration. And you can see here Hibernate, uh, which talks about Hibernate.org DGD, document type definition. So Hibernate configuration, so something, something this kind of thing. Okay? Yes. So here you can see Hibernate configuration has an open tag, Hibernate configuration open tag, Hibernate configuration close tag. Yeah. Then. We have session factory, open tag, session factory, close tag. Okay. Yeah, close tag. Yes. Now, in this session factory, session factory is an object which will produce sessions. Actually, yeah. we have seen, right? Yes. And session factory would be only one for entire application, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And here, inside the session factory, you can see some properties labeled. Property, so property, open tag and close tag here. Yeah. So here you can see property name, connection dot driver class. So you need to give the driver class here, okay? In yeah. this uh, sample, they are using H2 database. Mm -hmm. We will be using MySQL database for our samples, right? Yeah. So. Yeah you need to give the MySQL driver name here. Yes. All right? Yes. Yeah. So let me give that MySQL driver name. Yes. We want that MySQL driver name. So I'm just uh, browsing through the demos which we have already done with JDBC this is the driver yeah MySQL driver copy this and give it in your okay I'm done with my MySQL driver okay okay and you can see another property name connection dot URL so yeah. you need to give the URL for our MySQL database, right? Right. So remove this existing one because they are using the URL for that H2 database. 
We okay. need our URL. So I am giving our URL. Okay. All right. Yes. And connection username property. Mm -hmm. So it is R O O T root. And password of course root. Right? Root, yeah. So I am done with that uh, connections. So JDBC configuration kind of thing. Driver, URL, username, password. Okay. 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 So along with that, we need to do. Uh, you can see here uh, there is a JDBC connection pool. Uh, let it be as it is. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here you can see there is a SQL dialect. So okay. the thing is, uh, when we run this uh, Hibernate sample program to persist the employee object into database, in our example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has to generate the MySQL related syntax, right? Yeah. Yes. So we have to put that uh, MySQL related dialect here. Okay. So this dialect talks about database whatever you are using. They are using H2 database. So H2 mm -hmm. database uh, dialect will generate MySQL syntaxes for uh, uh, insert. The thing okay. is, okay. we need to insert the employee model object into the database ultimately yeah. in our example. So the insert yeah. statement should be generated, right? Yes. So right. we, we are using MySQL database here. So MySQL related syntax has to be generated. So yeah. we need to configure MySQL dialect. So to look into look into the dialects, uh, the APIs which we just configured, you can see. Uh, HP HP that's my project, my project. Yeah. HP. In this Hibernate 3, expand this Hibernate 3. And in this, uh, you can see here org.hibernate dot, so org.hibernate dot dialect and the yeah. actual dialect name, okay? Yes. Okay. So you can just browse till org dot Hibernate dot dialect. Yes. So in this, there are dialects for various databases. You can see DB2 database dialect. Yeah. Mm. Likewise, H2 database dialect. Okay. Then HSQL, HSQL, Informix, another database. Ingress. Mm. Then you have MySQL dialect here, you can see MySQL yeah. dialect. Yeah. Use yes. that MySQL dialect here. All there right. is MySQL, MySQL 5 dialect as well as MySQL dialect. I am using MySQL dialect. Okay. So give a name over there. So it is my MySQL. So the name should be as it is. Okay. Yeah. 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 So this, likewise, you can see Oracle. If you are using Oracle, Oracle 10G dialect, Oracle 8I, 9I, 9I di dialect, Oracle dialect. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you are using Postgres, Postgres related dialect. Okay. Likewise, SQL Server 2005 version, 2008 version. If you are using SAP DB, Sybase. Timestamp database, you can see Terra data. Yeah. So all these are the various databases uh, dialects. Okay. Okay. So okay. you have to write one which you are using in your programs. All yes. right. So MySQL dialect it is. Mm -hmm. And you can see disable the second level cache is something here it is. As of now, you ignore this. Let it be as it is, okay? Yeah. 
and you can see here okay. there is uh, uh, something called show SQL, a property, and its value is true. So this show SQL uh, would help us in uh, tracing out uh, what statements are the Hibernate is generating SQL statements. I'll show you uh, how it is helpful. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can see. Echo all the executed SQL statements to std out. std yeah. out is nothing but console for us. Yeah. yeah. So all the SQL statements would be displayed because of this particular property turned on to true. Mm -hmm. That is my insert statement. My employee class that is being uh, inserted into the database. Yeah. So the insert statement would be generated and displayed. Displayed, yeah. Yes, yes, by this. Insert statement would be generated by this dialect and that would be displayed by this show SQL property. Okay. Okay. And you can see here something, the property name hbm2ddl dot auto, it is set to create. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what happens when this property is set to create is, you can see here, Drop and recreate the schema on the startup. Oh, All right. So database schema would be dropped and completely dropped and recreated. Yeah. So okay. uh, we need this. Then there is a mapping class here. So mm -hmm. mapping class. So this mapping class I will fill it uh, with our things. Uh, so this is about Hibernate CFG XML uh, configuration XML that is nothing but for us this one okay yeah yeah now we need to have we need to have uh, the mapping file for our uh, model class so Hibernate mapping file. So it should be with the same class name, same class name, you can see here. Mm -hmm. So whatever the model classes you are going to uh, persist, so their corresponding hibernate mapping file should be. So its yeah. name should be the model class, then an extension dot hpm dot xml, okay? Yes. So I am creating this in my source. I am creating such XML file for our employee. Okay. Yeah. In my source, it's a normal file. Uh, normal file. Yes. And my model class name is employee. Employee dot hbm dot xml okay okay done yeah. finish yeah. now you go to that projects i want one such a dot hbm xml file so okay. i search for okay you can see here yes let me choose one. Okay, and you can see here there is a, I got something. Okay. Yeah. And control A, control C. Go to Eclipse and paste here. Okay. Okay. And okay. I want this documentation comment. If you don't have this documentation comment, your employee HPM XML file will not work. Oh. It is mandatory. And okay. do not disturb this. Even a single space uh, would uh, create a trouble to you. Do not disturb oh. this. Okay. All right. And you can see there is hibernate mapping. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there is something here. Uh, as of now, just remove these things, okay? 
Yeah. There is open type hibernate mapping and hibernate mapping closing type. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now. Right. Then go back to my sample here. You can see. So there is some class here. Okay. And here some properties we are labeling. Yeah. And yeah. this, so I am writing that uh, tag here. So the thing is, I have a model class. For this model class, I want uh, Hibernate to generate a table. Okay? Yeah. Yes. So I am uh -huh. doing this here. So I am writing the class over there. So my employee is inside this. You can see, uh, you can see over there. When I write CL, automatically it is uh, displaying the tag over there. Yeah. The reason yeah. is we already added those jar files. If you don't yeah. add, yes. then this will not show that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? So class, class. So I am talking about my model class here. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So model class name name our model class name our model class name is nothing but this one right employee yes so you have to do complete package name and dot employee employee so this is my model class and so you can see there are various properties here. If you give a control space, it will give you these properties. Okay. Okay. And right, right. And in this there are properties. So there is ID, ID. So ID open. Close tag. This ID is nothing but for your table there should be a primary key, right? Yeah. So that ID, that is primary key, okay? Yeah. And here for us the name is the ID in our employee. So I written it as ID, okay? This ID. Employee ID, okay? Yeah. Okay. So I'm giving it name ID, okay? Yeah. Yes. And here, here you can see. So there is a generator here, okay? Yeah. Generator. So I'm using a generator class. So there are various generator classes. So to generate the primary key values, okay? Yeah, okay. So, Hibernate can automatically generate that values. Okay. So, if I, there are oh. various things. So, let me go with one thing now. So, here you can see there is assigned. Yeah. So, I am making use of that assigned generator. So, there are various generators like assigned, increment, uh, sequence, sequence generator, there are various things. We will explore them. Okay. 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 So assign. And I am done with the primary key in my table. Uh, that is, I have mapped. So my model class, I identified that uh, my employee ID is the primary key. Okay. Okay. And yeah. next, we need to have other properties. Property. So the properties, name, first name, first name, first name, and you can see we have to label all the properties here. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I am labeling the other the other property, property, yes. last name. So these properties are nothing but 
in my employee mm-hmm. model class yeah. this property okay yes so i mentioned the employee id as the generator over there i mean to say as primary key okay yeah okay got so now my employee dot hpm dot xml file xml file i have done with my configuration mm-hmm. then go back to hibernate cfg xml configuration xml you can see there is a mapping right here yeah. so here for this mapping you need to tell hibernate that i have a resource resource that is employee.hpm.xml file yeah so this is the resource you need to uh, persist this resource okay and this resource related configuration i have mentioned in this file employee.hpm.xml file okay yeah yes i have mentioned so this model class has to be persisted got it got it and in my model class there is an id which would be the primary key in the persisted table okay yeah yes and there are properties first name last name so they become the columns in the tables okay 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 so that we have told in hibernate configuration to this mapping resource tag mapping resource tag okay yes now i am creating a hibernate client so in my demos i have a test client i am creating a class it is mm-hmm. hibernate client test client with main method yes. okay yeah So here, here. So here, so here. The thing is, there should be a service method to create that model object. Yeah. yeah. So we will be using Hibernate API to create that model object, and then we persist this model object into the database. Okay. Yes. We are doing that now. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Yes. So here you can see in my sample there is a class with uh, some name and main method. So here we need to address these things. So we should have that configuration file, right? I need to have a configuration object. Yeah. So I am creating the configuration object. Okay. So these are the uh, routine steps which we perform. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Obtain the configuration object. So configuration object configuration. Import that, and this configuration is present in R dot Hibernate CFG. Okay. Yes. So C O N F I G config equals to new new configuration. configuration. This configuration. what it does is this will read this uh, hibernate configuration file completely and then it creates with all these stuff one configuration object all right done okay now from this configuration object from this configuration object we need to obtain the session factory okay okay so here session factory session factory you have to import this session factory is present in r dot hibernate okay yeah okay session factory equals okay. to from this config object dot you can see build session factory yes yes so build session factory okay 
this we do the session okay. factory mm -hmm. from this session factory you need to obtain a session this session would be persisting my employee object that is employee model class object into database okay yes obtain a session so it is session session so it is present in org dot hibernate yes this is an interface okay take yeah, yeah. session session yeah. equals to from the session factory yeah. from the session factory dot you can see open session yeah. okay okay yes do this now from this session factory so obtain the transaction we need to perform the transaction yeah so transaction transaction so it is present in org.hibernate mm -hmm. yeah okay take this transaction equals to from the session you can see begin transaction yes okay yes. okay begin transaction mm -hmm. and so from here in this begin transaction yes and now in my transaction i am going to save that object so i need to create an object right yeah. so i say yes. create a model class object yes. okay so employee emp equals to new employee okay yes. so this employee set set, set values set id so i say 100 okay yeah. employee set first name so i mm -hmm. say first name okay okay employee set last name right yeah right set last name so i have created that employee object yeah okay yeah. now yes by yes. using the session dot save and this employee object i am saving it okay. okay okay yes after saving this my transaction i am committing okay yeah. so here why performing this step if something goes wrong some exception occurs then my transaction should roll back so right. i am not writing okay. anything uh, exception handling mechanism here so if you want to put that you can put that in try catch mechanism and uh, uh, catch exception put uh, right transaction dot roll back okay yeah yeah then yes i am done with my transaction i mean to say commit and let me check if i am missing anything yes transaction oh my transaction is i have begin the transaction yes okay yes session i got open session session i got open session then transaction begin transaction yes begin transaction mm -hmm. then employee object created then session dot persist or session dot save both need the same so yes. persisting okay. the then yes transaction commit and select the session close yes i am done and i'll write a display message system dot out dot print ln uh employee object save okay yeah okay and i am running this 
test client. This is, this is the main method, so I can run this program, okay? Yeah. yeah. Something went wrong. Uh, Hibernate dialect must be set when connection available. Of course, I have set that Hibernate dialect. Let me check. Yes, it is already set. R dot hibernate dialect dot MySQL dialect. Uh, let me check with spelling. S M Y capital S Q L D I A L E C T. Yes, it's already set. Then why it is not? Yes. So my connection is also available. Yes, yes. The thing is, the thing is, my SQL DB. So let me check whether such database is available. My SQL DB. I okay. used my SQL DB, right? Yeah. Maybe uh, I should yeah. have that my SQL DB. So I'm connecting. Okay. And yeah. of course, I have that my SQL DB. And press OK. Okay, I'm done. Now uh, I connected to MySQL server. Now I'm executing the same program again. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'll clear this console. R run this again. Hibernate dialect must be set when connection when no connection is available. I have a connection. In my Hibernate configuration, I have the driver, driver, URL, then username, password, so local host. Yes, everything is correct. I will touch me down. Yes, just hold on. I am getting a call. Because okay. I have another okay. session now. Maybe they are reminding me of that session. Yeah. Hello. Hi, good morning. Our session is going to join at all. Praveen, you are not angry. Oh, no, no. Okay. I will join you. I will join you. I will join you. Alright. Thank you. 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 Yes, I have another session. They are just reminding me of that session. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. Let me check. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, I mean, my students are ready to join. This is throwing the exception. Config build session factory. Yeah. 
yes of course correct i think uh, uh, i believe i have added that uh, mysql connector jar file also yeah you took it yes i have that of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me browse through this error on google okay there's nothing wrong actually it has yeah. to execute yeah. Your query was for using entity. Configure method. Okay, let me use this configure method. Actually, we didn't choose this configure method. Yes, 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 yes. I skipped this statement. Oh. I should have used this configuration. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, I created a configuration object and I need to configure it with my Hibernate CFG XML file, right? I have created right. that Hibernate configurations in an XML file and I skipped this. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Yes. Now, configure your uh, hibernate.cfg xml file with your configuration object, okay? Yeah. So that is config, config dot configure. In config, yeah. there is a method configure. Yeah. For this, yeah. you give your Hibernate.cfg.xml Right, I am done now. Yes, I am done. Now I am executing this, okay? Okay. okay. Error at line 15 or document element type Hibernate mapping must follow, we follow either attribute specification, instead exception, Unable to read this XML file. Uh, uh, just hold on, I am getting a call. Okay. Hello. Uh, ah, right, right. Thank you, Mr. Director. Resource. 
things. Uh, I think uh, it is uh, troubling with the reading this XML file. Okay. And this also, of course, the correct one, the tag mapping resource. Uh, all right, we shall continue in our next session because my students are waiting from the other session. Uh, I will fix it in our next session and this will insert the uh, employee data into our database, okay? No worries. We can try on our end and see if it works. It should work definitely. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll send. I'll send you the same file, and you can download and make it right. Okay. Yes. Fine then. Uh, nothing else is remained as of now. Only something wrong with this particular uh, uh, XML file reading. Uh, we will check it. Okay. All right. Fine then. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you. You too. Thanks, bye. Mm, bye.